Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Um, oh boy, everything's buried. Actually, it's not too bad. <clears throat> I just need these. I just gotta move a bunch of junk. Oh man, I got just too much junk. Oh, I hear ya. We have a rooster now. You're gonna hear him a lot here, I'm sure. <clears throat> He's kind of a noisy feller. But uh, he was kind of supposed to be a lady and he ended up being a guy, so. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to get to in here is stuff that's not gonna hopefully kill me. Yes, I need to do a little big, I hear ya, a big clean out in here. There's a little bit of that green carpet left over from when we made our covers. I need these guys here. Okay, what we're doing, hopefully, is we're going to do an oil change on the Toyota. I hate doing this one. Oh, I just got my GoPro here today. Cause I really don't, I hear you. I really don't have a, uh, ooh, that had coolant in it last. I really don't have a uh, good little tripod for my other bigger camera to sit on. So we're going to do it with this. And hopefully the battery lasts. Really? It's already like down to three. Really? Two. Two bars. What the heck is wrong with this? I hear ya. I'm just watching the battery drop here. But it says it's got two hours and eight minutes left. It's got two batteries. It's supposed to have six. Time for a new GoPro maybe, but I don't really use them a whole lot. So is it worth getting into another one? I don't know. But anyways, we are doing an oil change here. Hopefully on the Toyota. Everything's falling down on me. Ugh. Okay, I need either more room or less junk. I'm, I'm honestly kind of leading to the less junk part. Uh, I've got a drip pan here, an oil pan. We need uh, these things and that stupid thing up there. Oh, one thing I hate about doing on this is because I got to put it up on those stands. Which is fine, whatever, but then you got to use this stupid thing on a ratchet wrench to get the oil filter out. Oh, I need that too. <laughs> oil filter. My last one. I got to order some more. Because this is the one where you take the cap off and this stupid thing filter this. I don't even know what this filter really does a whole lot. It sits in the cap and then you screw the cap back on. And you can't fill these with oil, so the way she works kind of sucks but all right now we need a car so get uh get her down here just in front of these ramps or those things that i lay on it's another thing i gotta get down on the ground i'm old <laughs> don't particularly like getting down like that but that's all right well we'll get her drained out again i gotta move my beast the beast i got a little tip for you guys if you're in an area oh my thing fell again if you're in an area where vehicles are kind of prone for getting stolen, 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 come on, turn off, holy jumping, I don't want to hear the music, thank you. Uh, no, turn off, off, holy crap. Okay, uh, if you're in an area where you're prone to get stolen, we've had Dodges stolen around here, I don't know why they're wasting their time on a Dodge, but anyways. Um, should always leave it if you're four wheel drive, leave it parked at four low. It makes it real hard, and you might get a little more time to go out and you know, authoritatively remove them from your vehicle. We'll say, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna put this guy, um, I guess anywhere here, just kind of up out of the way. I'm gonna get that silly car in. That car's been weird in the last little while. Still got battery, two hours and five minutes. I don't know, maybe it's just not displaying right now. Uh, oh yeah, I should be able to get through there. Uh, the car's been weird. 
when my wife was doing and I were doing some of that skip the dish stuff it was really burning up oil like crazy and I don't know why add a bunch in burn through that add a bunch in and then all of a sudden it stopped using it when we stopped doing the skip stuff so I don't know what the deal is with that but uh, anyways let's get this down there I gotta adjust the seat a whole bunch here first all right fire it up I think it might potentially need a catalytic converter put on it too um, that or there's something else going there's no lights on though like uh, malfunction lights or engine lights whatever you want to call them but uh, if you're zipping down the highway and you just kind of leave your window open a little bit you get that real what is it uh, smelly egg rotten smell like not really good so I kind of wonder if it needs a converter put on it but anyways one day <laughs> probably just get rid of the stupid thing really because uh, let's see here I gotta leave a little bit of room there because it has currently a hundred and eighty four thousand four hundred three kilometers on it which isn't a lot but it's also had a whole pile of town driving done to it so that's Kind of really hard on things. Uh, I could probably pull up a little more there yet. But yeah, this, I mean, this car is great for her. I just honestly don't feel comfortable and don't really fit in it too well. Same with Dylan, poor kid. He's got to sit in this and his head's like, you know, <laughs> this is meant for small little Asian guys, I think, this car. But uh, it gets us around anyways. Okay. Get a ramp here if I can get these ones off one handed. All right, so this is the part I'm not super crazy on myself. Trying to get it to, uh, ooh. Well, I don't like that too much. Hang on a sec. Oh, I hear ya, because it's like you gotta, mm, 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 and then way up and over the end you go. <laughs> and you can't see where you're going either. Bloody door closes on your leg. Holy jumping, I hate this car. Oh, no, don't get in the way of it. That's the last thing I need is you getting run over by the bloody car. That's why I keep seeing those stupid vehicle lifts on Princess Auto. I'm like, I need one of those. But anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cork in you. My goodness, quiet. Lock right, you up. I gotta get under the stupid thing. And I, and I don't fit well. I fit better under my truck. That's why I got my truck. <laughs> um, okay, so I got the filter with me because we're gonna do this all kind of once here. Um, I think I'm just gonna crawl under here first. And then uh, we'll get you under here. All right, there's where we're working. That's this guy for the filter way in behind. I hate that filter. Oh, terrible. And I think, oh, that's a 15 maybe. Let's try the 15 on there. No, 14 maybe, so we gotta get a 14. Now, when I'm actually working on this here, I don't know where I'm gonna stick you fellers. This kind of car, oh, it'll be nice to have a lift. <laughs> um, okay, that should be all we need out of that kit. So we'll slam this together, and the little hinge is broken on this kit now. It's open and closed, I guess, so many times, but I don't know whether you'll get a view there or not. Um, can you find me a little thin piece of wood, maybe, Dale, or something? I'll maybe stick under the front of this camera. But uh, we'll get this guy draining first, although we should probably do the filter first that drain because then they're gonna work around this thing so this thing has it fits but it's not fantastic like it will kind of get stuck on this stupid thing but there is uh yeah that might be 
too thick. Well, I think they'll get an idea of what we're doing anyways. That's okay, thanks still. Uh, so yeah, on this guy here, there's little knobs too, where these little slots gotta fit in. And I don't really stick it on too tight, this thing. These uh, are only plastic, so you gotta kinda watch. And when you take this kind of, well, that's not what I want to have happen. They don't actually lock in. When you take this to an oil change place, they'll actually uh, crank those on and put them on way too tight. And it's like, dude, there's a O-ring in there that's doing the sealing. You don't have to crank the crap out of it. It's just the way they work. All right. Let's see if that'll just kind of dribble itself there. Hopefully you guys are getting kind of a view of this. Like I say, it's on the GoPro here, so I can't really tell. Uh, well, maybe we'll get this right out here and get this serviced first. So this thing would go in a lot further, as you can see there, but I don't try to stress that in there because it, it would make it really hard to get out again. that drip out a little bit and then we'll have to take this out and service it and put the new o-ring the o-rings hey Dale mm -hmm. would you grab me a couple of blue towels in there please yeah. I'll let that drain this uh, pan doesn't have a thing to hold this which kind of sucks but oh and if you go in my thank you if you go in my uh Screwdriver drawer, there's a little wee thin screwdriver in there, a straight, straight, straight headed one. I might need that to pull this little O-ring out. This little guy here, it just kind of fits in like that, so I'll just dump him back in there. And then on this guy here is what I want the towels for. There's an O-ring here that we gotta exchange, because it does kind of get flat inside the housing in here. And it sits kind of on this front lip. You can't really maybe see that, but perfect. Hey, that's where it went. <laughs> okay, so we'll get the filter out here, and in here you get the little O-ring thing, and this is uh, kind of buried right in there. So I'm going to pull that off and. Uh, Give her another little wipe down. Good. And probably should put a little bit of lubies on that. And then basically that little channel there, I want to kind of peel that back down into that little channel. And that's all that seals all that in there. So you just want to make sure it sits in there nice. Feeling pretty good. We will grab the new filter. And like I say, you can't pre-fill these. That's the new guy and it doesn't matter which way it goes in. And it'll go in and clip down. It should anyways. Maybe we'll try it this way. Well, maybe that's it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to no i guess that's it okay so this guy here will just give a little bit of a cleaning too and yeah there's a little machined surface in here that's super smooth where that that guy uh mounts to I'll see if i can get you up there oh fighting over there so that's where that kind of goes in, and that little machine surface is where it uh, mounts to. So we just got to put it back together. And hopefully, this stupid thing comes off again. <laughs> that kind of gets stuck on there too much. So it's got to just go down and mount tight. You don't have to like crank the crap out of it. And I've never had it leak. That's it. Oh, there we go. 
All right, that's the easier part. Now we get to the fun part. Let's get rid of the box and the old junk here. So much more complicated than just the spin-on filter, but I, I don't know. A lot messier too, I think. All right. That's good, not too bad. Wipe hands off again. Yeah, I don't know if I maybe let an oil change go too long and it maybe damaged the engine a little bit. Um, you know, it was going like 8,000 K and then changing it. And this has only got like 4,000 on it now, 4,100 kilometers maybe. And uh, I'm gonna change it and then see how the next one kinda, you know, looks after that. Clean this up a little bit and rub a bit of oil to her and maybe keep it from rusting because it rusts from the outside in <laughs> kind of thing. And this one's not as big of a. Oh, that's something I'm going to do too is clean off the oil plug. This one's not as big of an oil hole as the uh, Ford truck, which actually I've got to do soon too. The Ford truck is, it's got a big plug there and it pull that out, man, it don't take long. You got to make sure you got your containers ready. As I'll tell you, it doesn't take long to, uh, to drain that out. Whew, fast. It's like 13 liters too, whatever that works out to. So 13 quarts of oil or so, whatever, for you guys down south there. Look at the, how rusty, I don't know if you can see how rusty the, uh, bolts are getting on the oil pans here, man. You'd have to fight them out now, I bet. Oof, hopefully this thing lasts that long. I actually had to put a, I uh, couldn't do a video of it because she needed it like right away, but I had to put an alternator and we put a new belt on it too. Oh man, the alternators are expensive now. Holy smokes, it's like $350. And a $35 core charge you get back when you take the old one in. I'm like, holy smokes, that's, that's enough. I'll let this piddle here a minute, I guess, and uh, Try to get as much back out as we can because it does take a few minutes. I like to let it go until it kind of, uh, you know, uh, basically stops dripping, but this thing takes like about five hours. <laughs> It'll keep dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping. But stream, yeah, that's still got some in there yet. It'd be good to get her all out. But the way they've kind of designed their oil pan, I Guess it would run down here and this is almost sort of flat but it would run down here and then it's running down here but then it looks like it's got to run up hill again to get out the hole which is to me leaving a big trough of oil down in here so that's kind of weird because the oil it's like way up here where it kind of slopes back up again so I, I'm assuming that there's probably going to be like a trough of gooey garbage and whatever carbon crap down in the bottom of this pan so I mean, that's something you could probably take off and clean, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So, yeah, that's probably that's probably getting pretty close there. They, they should really have put it down further here, but then it's more susceptible to be getting hit, I guess, where now it's kind of up out the back here. So we'll let her go at that. I'm, oh, almost lost her. Almost had to go fishing. Okay. I'll tighten that up and just give it a little wipe and then we're done under here. Yay! That should be good. Again, don't crank the crap out of it. It's got a gasket on it for a reason. It's not going to leak unless its gasket's gone or torn or something. Alright. I think we should be good. Everything's good there. Let's go up top. Take this stupid cover off the top just to kind of look at some things under there too and uh got a little bit oily kind of crappy there but it's not terrible bad apparently when the pvc valve goes bad pcv valve goes bad um positive crate case vent goes bad uh it'll start leaking pushing gasket out and start leaking apparently so 
I think this engine's probably probably getting worried enough that it probably wouldn't have the power to do that, but man, you never know. And it is probably something I should replace, and I'm looking to see if I can see where they buried it. I do see a bit of oily stuff on the back here, though. That's interesting. Uh, it should have a little vacuum hose going to it. Hmm. Hmm. It usually goes into the valve cover kind of area. Probably looking right at it. No, my luck, it's buried in behind here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well I don't know it's in here somewhere but I'd have to do some research and I guess to see if I can find it it's a screw in type I know that I've seen a picture of it hmm anyways it's not a big deal so it's getting kind of tarnishy looking in there. Oh, that's all right. Um, okay, well, let's get some oil back in her now. So I'm gonna use some of this high mileage crap. That's what I used last time. And uh, it actually kind of seemed to slow down the burn in a little bit. I was okay. So this is advanced full synthetic. Now we're supposed to use a 020 because this is getting kind of a bit older. I'm putting a 520 in just to help it maybe a little bit. But it did sort of seem to help slow down that oil consumption a bit. So that's good. Holy crap, it's adult proof. Now, I'm gonna need a filter too. Hang on, we're not a filter, funnel. All right, funnel goes in. Uh, just because I don't really wanna have to try to aim this thing. Now, another good tip is always get rid of these things. A piece of that can fall in your engine and totally create a complete nightmare. <laughs> I know a guy that he put some kind of additive in his tractor and uh, it kept shutting off all the time. And then they'd leave it for a while and then it would start up and run again. And it would shut up. Well, the little paper cap got in there and it sucked onto the fuel inlet and kept shutting the tractor off. And he was like, what is wrong with this thing? So we pretty much got to put this whole thing in, but we got to also fill that filter up. This flows so much nicer when it's warm. Look, we almost got the whole thing in already. All right, we'll try somewhere there. Another tip, make sure you put your cap on when you're done with it. <laughs> Don't just leave it sitting there because you'll hit it and knock it in and there'll be oil all over the place. All right, we'll let that settle down in there for a minute and then we'll fire it up for a couple of seconds. Let it kind of do its pumpy through thing. Let that drip a minute and then uh, we'll give her a check. What I kind of like to do is get it off the stands here while it's running. Gives it a minute to run and get it down and get it on a more of a level surface. Because technically now it's leaning back, so you might get a false reading. Because the dipstick's on the front here, the oil's going to flow to the back of the engine, and you're going to actually be showing lower than you actually are. So, um, where the heck is that PVC valve? <laughs> it's supposed to be down here somewhere. looks like heater duct stuff there those big tubes there should be a, a hose that attaches on to it and that doesn't look like it there it's got a big 22 millimeter hex nut thing on it so I mean you wouldn't think it'd be too hard to find but oh there it is I think no, that's not it. It's got a wire on it. It should have a hose on it. Hmm. Well, I don't know that I'm gonna have to research it some more because I'm not sure. But it could be this here. No, I don't I don't know. There's a clamp on it. That doesn't look right. It should have a big hex. Like a twenty it's like a twenty-two mil. It's quite large but usually they're in like you know the head kind of area valve cover kind of area I am just not stick it out to me right away so
So anyways, I'll have to do some more research. Okay, we'll get her down off the stand here. Exploding all over the place, so that's good. Boy, it's a lot lower than it's off the stands, isn't it? I can almost like you know see things now. Huh. Where is that valve? It should have a little hose onto it. Because it opens and closes and vents the stinky gases from the top back into you know to burn up again. So it should be right in here somewhere. It might be this guy right now. Here you. Well, I don't know. I'll have to do some research. But let's let this sit a minute here. This is a good time now to check your air filters. See how dirty it is. There is a third one here somewhere. Well, it's actually not terrible bad yet. If you can see fairly good light through it. Got a bit of crub in there, but I think I'll run her some more. I don't think I have another one. That's a Bosch 929. I hear ya. And what the heck way did that go in now? I think it was this way. Actually, it's easier to get put in here, I think, first. Yeah. Good. That seems good. Uh, what else do we check? Could check transmission fluid, but I know this needs done. It's doesn't smell bad yet, but it's very dirty. Like that's extremely dirty stuff. <laughs> so it really needs to be done. But I have had not good experiences changing transmission fluids before. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. All right. Um, and they never seem to drive the same after you change it because what happens is this dirty fluid has grip to it and you put this new slippery stuff in and then it kind of starts slipping and it doesn't drive right after that. So um, yeah, you should change it, but you should change it a little more often than I probably do. So I don't know where this valve is. I'm gonna have to do some more research. Boy, that looks like it down there though, but it's got a wire on it. I don't think that's it. Maybe another sensor of some sort. All right, we'll grab our little towel here. Boy, that oil is dirty. I think this engine's getting. We notice it driving it too. It's you know, it's not super gutless, but it's not as good as it used to be. So we're pretty clear there. If it's got a little extra in it, not a lot extra, but a little extra, that'll be all right too. Okay, so we're down about. Well, now I don't know because it's high on one side and what the heck? <laughs> that didn't make a lot of sense. How could it be high on one side and low on the other? I think we're about halfway there. So we'll put a bit more to her. Is that valve? I thought it was over on this side on the block here somewhere, but nope. I didn't do it anyway. I'll have to do some more research and oh, what do you do? Okay. So, from what I remember, it takes pretty much all of this, not quite, but I'll try that little blob in her. had the alternator not too long ago new belt needed that um it just uh i think she got lights on and stuff inside saying you know charging or whatever and i noticed it wasn't starting right these were still needing a little bit there it's easier to just add little bits in and check it than trying to get more to come back out after 
because once you're seems like once you're getting this car anyways once you're getting to that sort of top it doesn't take long to fill the rest of it up but you got to wait a minute you know let it kind of get down to the pan so you look for other things is there anything leaking mm, i don't know why this is all kind of wet here mm, not sure on what's happening there I really should probably get in here with my air and because there's a lot of junk I can see like down in these little valleys and stuff. Get that all nice and cleaned out, but that's ah, not a huge major deal. It should actually really clean everything too. Probably feel better itself, you know. Clean engine's a happy engine. All right, we're about up to there now. So I might just leave her there and then let her drive it and then check it again and it might settle down a little bit more you never know right so uh we've got uh, a little bit left in there so it almost use that whole 4.73 i think it's 4.4 .4, they say but they always seem to use a little more than that so where is that okay i'm gonna do a little research now before we button this thing right up see if i can find where the stupid valve is but i think it's under this here i haven't pulled this off yet i pulled the clip off to kind of feel but i don't know i'm not gonna worry about it right now i don't think anyway let me give that back to you junior Let's put this cover back on the right way would help That'll do her. That should be it. Changed oil again. Woo wee. All right. Slam her down, and at least we don't have to slam it and slam it. We didn't use a frame, we used an AC Delco. But we'll still slam it. Sweet. Yeah, it's some pretty. I hear you, my goodness. Center of attention or what? Uh, that's pretty dirty stuff, you know, from, you know, we added some too, right? So I, I think this engine's probably, it's probably getting tired already, but, uh, uh I, you know me, uh, well, she drives around so bloody much going here and there, taking kids here and there, doing this here and there, picking up this here and there, going here and there, back and forth here and there, that I can't get it down here hardly to change oil in it. That's not an excuse or nothing, but holy smokes, like she drives it so much, it's, you almost think it was a commuter car, but <laughs> anyways pretty vital to her i guess so but anyways there we go i guess that's it uh looks like that's all we need to do on that today and uh we'll continue on thanks again for watching 2013 corolla pretty good car but yeah you definitely really need to change oil probably a lot more than i do so even though we say every like 10 or twelve thousand on synthetic no do it like minimum five six maybe thousand kilometers this oil is cheap engines aren't <laughs> just change the oil <laughs> thanks again for watching catch you all later you guys have a good day what are you doing? Oh, really? You're just crazy. Come here. Come see everybody. Look, who's here? You, you seriously can't carry that away. A... No, it's not a stick. Come on, let's go. Good girl. Come here. Oh, you're just crazy. Oh, you just... go find it. Go get it. Where's your tire? Paisley, where's your tire? Go get that tire. Yeah, get him. Get that tire! I don't want it. Go get that tire! You're such a goofball. Get him! Uh oh, he's gonna throw you if you attach to it. That's my tire. I want my tire. Good girl. Let's see if she can wait here. Get the tire, good girl. I'm <laughs> not letting it get away. Good girl. Dylan's old dirt bike tire. How many times did that go around? Ooh, boy. Should have kept going till the tube blew out of it. <laughs> You're going to have to give me a new rim, too. Well, good girl. Yeah, you get them. Alrighty kill this tire aren't you no i just want to nail <laughs> get him with my nose <laughs> you stinker and mad at my tire get mad at my tire yeah just don't eat these tires okay no not those ones maybe dylan will throw it for you again ready 
Oh, careful. Oh, you can't have my tire. <laughs> Good girl. Sounds so mean. Arr. 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 Get a tire. Arr. So grumpy with the tire. Oh my goodness. Shake him, shake him, shake him. Speak for him. Speak for him. Can you drop it? Drop it. Good girl, sit. Paisley, Paisley. Paisley, sit and wait. Good girl, sit and wait. Hey, hey. Wait. Paisley. Gotta get her attention. Paisley. Paisley. Wait. Okay, you wait. Leave it. Wait. Leave it. It's gonna be hard. You wait. Good girl, wait. Sit. <laughs> Leave it. It's so hard. Leave it. Wait. Get over here, wait. You're kind of losing. Come here. Come here with dad. Come here. Come here with dad. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Come here. Sit and wait. Paisley. Wait. Wait. Leave it. Wait. Leave it. Wait. Oh, Dylan is so hard. Okay. Go get him. <laughs> get me for a stop. Take off marks. <laughs> That's like pure. <laughs> Bring it this way off the road, good girl. You have fun with your tire, don't you? Oh man, she picks up car tires and runs with them too, like it's insane. Way, way stronger than she realizes. <laughs> good girl, Paisley.